Okay, uh, this is, I think, uh, numbers six, seven, and eight of the Mind Bender Ghost project that I'm doing for Halloween. Um, and I just wanted to, to film some of this for possibly for Joe Customs Wiki or, or YouTube page, maybe the Custom Celebration, whatever. Um, just gonna do a real quick run through on the ghost effect that I've been playing with for the last few days. It's actually a lot of fun. And uh, I'm gonna maybe stitch some of this stuff together. Uh, show just some of the starting pictures of the supplies and stuff. And then some of the cool effects that I'm, I'm playing with as well once they're complete. So I'm just gonna, just real quick, this is my glue it's just white craft glue uh, mixed with water there's no science I didn't measure anything uh, it's kind of how I do things sometimes for the worst um, as I was setting up I just knocked this guy over so I'm gonna fix some of the folds on his cloak um, yeah, let me just do this uh, it's kind of bright but yeah that's the nice thing is that you're not locked in once you know you got a lot of time before this stuff starts to dry um, so your only real concern is if it starts to tear, which isn't even that big of a deal. And you have plenty of time to... Oh, uh, he's sitting on the cloak. On the... Oh, yeah, see, that tore. But it doesn't even matter. Because either you won't be able to tell, or if it's someplace important, like on the hand, it's really easy to just cover it up with a you know a spare tissue that you tore off of. This is a ridiculously easy thing to do. It's awesome. So I'm just fixing some of this where it flopped together when he fell over. And that's the main thing I learned. I just grabbed a bunch of crap figures when I first did this yesterday um, and hey, you gotta get figures that have good knees otherwise that you're gonna have problems with them tipping over uh, I'd never be able to get a cool uh, reposed fig you know pose like that um, so you want to get good tight joints on the figures you use there is no ill effects on on the base figure that you use at all uh, I've pulled a couple of figures out of these that that were done and there's no residue there's nothing uh, this is really <laughs> the perfect project because it's cheap it's easy and it's clean for the most part so now um, I'm probably gonna play with the folds on these a little bit throughout the morning while they dry but I just wanted to show the initial application on this last one and just start with a tissue uh, when it's folded in half I cut a little X in the middle you have to give it a, a spot for the head and now I'm just gonna soak it in the glue not even soak it if you do it too long the tissue gets too saturated and more likely to tear which again isn't the end of the world but it's a little easier initially if if you don't have any tears uh, I made that head hole a little bit bigger than I should have it's easier if you approach the figure from the back or whatever direction his arms are coming from of 
course this is starting to give me problems the time that I record it and this is the first one I've done with his arms up like that to be scary so you just kind of have to play with it and adjust as needed to get it to you know so it doesn't just drape across the top like a tent now this one since his arms are up so high I'm gonna have to kind of adjust a little bit so that it comes down and covers him up in the front because ultimately these are gonna be empty there's not gonna be any figures inside you don't really want it to be visible that hey there's nothing there although that might be kind of cool but uh, either way kind of want to just make it sort of flowy and drapey um, use either I've used both the q-tip and a toothpick to separate the folds where they're you know it's sticking together the folds are your friend a they give it you know the base to stand and then also they look cool as hell I mean, this one's got a tear in it, but it's not even going to be noticeable at all. And even if it is, they're ghosts. Who cares? I just thought this was a fun project to do. You know, for Halloween, everybody does zombies. Nobody ever does ghosts, and I think ghosts are scarier. Especially Dr. Mindbender ghosts. See, this guy's kind of weighed down. Just in the process here. I don't really want him sagged over. I wanted this one to be up high, kind of imposing. makes for a really cool effect. I just started doing this on a whim the other day after talking it over with some of my customizing friends, uh, my customizing peer group, uh, as we call it. All right, now I'm going to do one of the hoods. And I mean it's it's just ridiculous how easy this is. So I'm gonna put that on this guy. And the reason you do the hood separately so that and well, there's a number of reasons and benefits to doing it. Um, you can control how it goes on a little bit easier. But also, it gives you the option, if you're really careful, you can peel it back and have the hood come off for your big Scooby-Doo reveal if you want to leave the figure inside. Um, and you can control how it sits a little bit better, I think, if it's separate from the rest of the... The tissue
you just want to you know go over it if you're able make sure that it's not sitting too tight on the edges so that you'll be better able to to get a hook on it and pull it off once it's all dry I've done this five times previously and had no problems taking the hoods off I don't want to touch my phone now that my hands are all gluey uh, just shift everything around so that you can see This one I want to have it laying smooth against his face. Kind of get that impression. Since he's looking up. And get the impression that this is hanging on the back. Anyway, I think that's probably enough to give you an idea of what all has gone into this. Um, so, I don't want this to drag on too long because it will get more boring than it's already been. So, you just dry off. And that's pretty much all there is. There will be some pictures I might loop in at the end here showing the finished product.